It's been a while, but uh, this is a quick update on where I'm at with my um, Street Fighter build. Obviously, it started off as a Bass Jammer Cab um, that I picked up off eBay for £100, I think, with a Phoenix PCB in it. Um, it was original a horizontal, uh, sorry, a vertical monitor, which I've flipped to horizontal. Um, my friend Sarge has completely redone this marquee. Um, which our friend Muddy got printed, but all the artwork's his. Uh, it's got Hyper Hyper Super Street Fighter 2 Anniversary Edition in it. I always get that mixed up, the order of that, how that's in, but uh, that's like essentially the first five Street Fighter games, um, so that's really cool. Uh, that's the sort of the profile of the bass cab. So no, no, nothing's gone on the side yet. Um, eventually, side art will go on there. I think for the time being, I'm just going to take off that veneer so it's that naff uh, sort of mid to late 90s black veneer which they put on everything so I'm going to strip that off uh, fill in the holes and uh, paint it satin like a satin black uh, I'll do that on the side and the front um, it's still got this sort of very dark blue um, original bass bezel surround so again Sarge is completely redesigning uh, one of those. We're looking at a few things at the moment, but uh, that's going to be a completely new custom design. Uh, and again, Muddy Music, uh, our friend off UK back, will be getting that printed for us. And then this is actually the original bass control panel, uh, which was actually, Sarge actually used as basically a frame. Uh, he plated the whole back, uh, put God knows how many coats of filler on it, sanded it down, uh, sprayed it up with about half a dozen coats of primer, and then, again, he's designed all this uh, control panel overlay, this is completely custom design, uh, and then he's put all these new micro switch it, switches in, he drilled all the holes, uh, new joysticks, which a lot of people don't actually like, um, a few people have mentioned it, apart from me and Sarge are actually the only two people who have actually played on this machine, and they've got a really... Although they're small, they've got a really nice feel, and especially for like like Hadouken battles, um, it's, they are really accurate. Uh, there's my nice Capcom logo on the front, which I absolutely love. And then, if we can still see it, that's just on the inside. Little s Silver Fox or Sarge's moniker, and another little Street Fighter 15th Anniversary Edition. There's quite a few people got confused, and to be honest, I got confused myself. Um, so obviously I've got the PCB whilst we were building it. Um, and I tried doing some research uh, to sort of look at some artwork options, and I kept on searching for uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Anniversary Edition, and I kept on getting like all this ultra-modern Street Fighter, and I couldn't quite understand it because I'd, I'd obviously seen the game running. And... Uh, it just proves how old uh, I am, and if you're sort of interested in this sort of game, you, you're probably probably about the same age as me. This is the 15th anniversary edition, but there's actually another anniversary edition. There's a 25th anniversary edition of this game. So, yeah, we, it's the 25th or 20th anniversary edition. Either way, yeah, we're getting on now. Uh, but that's where we're at, at the moment. So it's it's getting there. It's uh, it's looking tidy. It's a hundred percent playable. Um, just need to get this this bezel glass sorted, and then but under here, like getting rid of all this naff wood veneer. Um, spray all this up black, fill in all the holes. But there are like sort of down near the coin, or there's like the dinks and stuff. Um, get that sprayed back, and I think with the control panel, the sorry, the control panel. The marquee and the bezel all matching artwork style with the matte black. It's basically finished. If I want to take it to sort of, uh, an arcade event, I'll be more than happy to because it won't look silly. Um, in the long run, I am going to go for side art, but as I said, that's going to be that's going to be a labour of love and it will be expensive, so I'm going to have to save up quite a bit for that. Um, but we're throwing around a few designs for that at the moment, so we'll see what we come up with. But that's just where I'm at with my Street Fighter build. So I hope you like it and uh, I'll keep you updated with 
with any new stuff we've got going on. Cheers, guys.